everyone, Sophie here from Beautifully Bound by Sophie. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make your own typesets and design them yourself. So today we're going to use the example of Remain Nameless. Come on, we all love this one. <laughs> it's by HeyJu19. So first off, you're just going to need a blank Word document and you're just going to insert two blank pages. Now, since everything's double-sided when you bind it, the reason why we have these two blank pages is because if you're adding decorative paper in your cover, you're going to glue it to this page so it doesn't end up messing up the title page. So this is only one page when it's printed out because it's double-sided. So this will be where your title is going to go and where the rest of the book's going to start. So you have two blank pages here. Now, there are many ways to <laughs> copy in chapters or books into your Word document. The way that I like to do it is because it does it all by one, is to have the entire work. So you're just going to click entire work. There we go. You can see that all of the chapters are there now. And then we're going to do Command A, or if you're on Windows, Control A, and that's highlighting the entire page. Then Command C or Control C, go to your Word document, start it on this page, Control V for paste. And it might take a few seconds because it is pasting an entire <laughs> website basically onto your Word document. And there it is. Now you have all this gunk from AO3 on your Word document, so you just have to remove it and that's fine. But you can see all of the chapters are here, all of the summaries that the author's left, everything. So when you're back at the top, you're just going to highlight the beginning of this, delete it. I can delete that too actually. Insert another page. This is going to be the title page, this will be the blurb and the acknowledgements, and then chapter one will start here. So first off, what you're going to do is you're going to do Command A again. This is very important, make sure you do this before you do anything else, otherwise you'll be crying at the end because you've messed up all your work. And we're going to change the normal font from the default Cadbury font that AO3 uses into Garmand. Garmand is um, the font that most books are printed in and when you zoom in it just looks a lot nicer and when it's printed out it's a lot more beautiful and book-like. And then up here you can see style planes. These are really important. So what you're going to do highlight just a sentence, update normal to match selected. So now that's going to update everything to be in that font. And then you're going to go to modify. And this is just an extra thing you don't have to do, but I always like doing it because it makes it look extra professional. What you do is you go to indentation, special, first line and you can leave it at the basic 1.27 centimeters sorry in Australia I know we use centimeters it's weird but um, for you it might be inches so I always like to have it at one centimeter indentation you can see the examples down here go okay if you want it to be justified you can press justified I usually do left but it is more proper to do justified so it's really um, whatever you want to do. I've just found some problems with doing Justify in the past. Let's go OK. And then you can see all of that has now been changed. So that's really good. And then we're going to go back on this page and we're just going to write the title. Ah. <laughs> There we go. 
and we're going to do that into heading. I'm going to do modify again. Sorry, I should probably do right click modify. I'm going to change the font. Now, the font really does a lot to what your book is going to speak about, and the font that I have chosen for Remain Nameless is Raymond Free. And don't want it in bold. You had a paragraph again. So it's automatically done the first line by one centimeter. I'm just going to put none for that since it's the front title and we don't want that for that. I'm going to go OK. And we're just going to make it a bit bigger. Oh, too big. <laughs> too big. Center. Update. Hmm. And then you're just going to fiddle around, basically. What you can do is just put the space in there. And then you just change the side of the space. So I want it a little away from the top, but I also want it more in the middle. So I've just changed the sizes of the space in and out here. But the text remains the same size. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find an image that you really like, you know, that goes with Remain Nameless, like could be blueberry scones, it could be hyacinth, which I know a lot of authors have, sorry, a lot of book binders have chosen to do. But I'm going to go with a coffee image. So I've got my image here and I've gone in this from Adobe Suite or more um, accurately Adobe Stock and you do have to have a subscription for it but I find it really worth the money because you especially if you're going to do book binding beyond this because there are so many beautiful images that you can use and it's really really worth the money. And then up here I'm just going to press enter again Make that really little. And then up here, we're going to do the author's name. I don't like having the author's name as the same one just because one with this one, the numbers look very odd. <laughs> and I like it to stand on its own. So I'm going to go with Felix Titling. So you just play around, give it your own look. And I think that looks really nice. And then for the next page, I'm just going to press normal. I'm going to insert another page. And here is where we're going to do our acknowledgements. I'm just going to skip ahead because it's a bit boring. OK, so now that we're back here, I've put my little logo down there, which you don't need to do, obviously. Unless you're using my typeset, then you would. And on this side, I'll just zoom in a little bit. We've got the title. I've decided to do it in the same font. Author, the link, publish completed, fandom, type center design by me. And then we have the blurb. So the blurb, you can either add on its own page next to <laughs> Sorry. You can either add on its own page next to it or you can just add there and I typically just add it there. So now we're going to start with the chapters. I'm going to remove that image just because I'm not going to use it. And you can see that because I've copied everything from archive that this is a link. So if you click on it, it's going to take you to the chapter. So we're just going to get rid of that. Okay, so when it comes to doing the chapter titles, I like to get a little bit creative. So I'm going to remove the notes and the trigger warnings and just leave it for January and then the start of it. I'm going to remove that too, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert text box. I'm going to stack them. I'm just 
going to make sure your shape um, is see-through and so is that outline. And then we're just going to do heading number two. We're going to change that to be the same font as the title. Not bold. And then we're going to move it over here. So we've got that there, and now I'm just going to get another image that I found um, in the same stock as this one here to go along with it. Okay, so I've got this image here, and as, I, as you can see, I can't move it up anymore, and it goes through the text like that. So I'm just going to go to Warp Text, go in front of text, and that way I can move it up a little bit more. I'm going to put that down. If you want it to be directly in the centre, what you have to do is just go to Picture Format, Align, and Align to Centre. It brings it in the centre, but I want the coffee cup a little bit over there. There we go. And now it ends up like that. And I actually think I might change it now. So I've changed it around a little bit. I've actually decided not to stack it and to put it like this. And then just remember, go up to here and update. And then if you want to modify, you can go chapter. So then you know the difference between that one and the title heading. So that's how my chapter one looks so far. Now with the dates, you can choose to make it look similar, but with this font, obviously it's not too good because the numbers don't change, which is a bit silly. Or you can just leave it, and I'm actually going to just leave it like that. Now onto the tricky part. We're just going to backspace so that the first one is up against it like that. And then we're going to press enter twice to give it a bit of space between the title and the start of the sentence. I'm going to go to insert, drop cap, dropped. And you can see that the first letter of the paragraph has come into like that. And then highlight, font. Now you can see that it's obviously not fitting in it. So you're going to have to fiddle around with it. <laughs> There we go. Now that's obviously a bit big. If you don't want it that big, just keep highlighting it and then going down in size bit by bit. And you highlight it. If that's the size you want, I think I'm going to go with 44. 44 seems like a pretty good size. Just highlight this. Go up to, let's use heading three, update to heading three to match selection. And there we go. And then you can do modify. I'm just going to put letter. You can put it as anything that you know. Okay, so that means if I press that, it'll turn into that, etc. Okay, so that's what chapter one looks like. We'll just go and do another example. Okay, so we're here at the end of chapter one. You can see that the notes are here and you always have to make sure to get rid of that. I've accidentally left it in a few times and it's come out printed and everything. I'll be like, oh no. So just keep pressing enter and then make sure chapter two is on its own lane. Get rid of that, rid of the notes and back that all the way there. So I've decided to alternate the images for the headings. So for chapter one, it was the cup standing up and this one, it's spilt down. And I like just, you know, creating simple designs, but it's also a little bit complex. I think it's really nice. So we've got that there. 
we're going to press enter twice just to bring it a little further down and this is a good example <laughs> whenever there is the quotation marks and then a letter for some reason drop cap is like oh let's make it as huge as possible <laughs> and we don't want that and that's why we have this so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the apostrophe oh, sorry the quotation marks highlight that press letter and there we go and then we're just going to stretch it out a little bit to make room for the quotation marks take it down so it includes all of it and you can oop, you can move this around depending on where you want it so if you want it more over here you can do that if you want it a bit more down you can do that you have a bit of freedom with that so that's really cool so yep that's how you create your own typeset and the designs these design planes are very important and also really helpful because instead of going through everything changing the size and then creating the format properly you can just click the button and it does it for you so if i clicked it again it undid it <laughs> so yeah that's the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to my patrons for supporting me um if you'd like to become a patron i'll leave a link down in the description below hope you all have a good day and bye